Thousands of people flock from all over the world to Cleveland to catch a glimpse. Others might feel just indifferent about the whole ordeal. And that's apparently how Austin Love felt. Austin, how we feeling yeah. now, buddy? I know you've been researching it. Um, I, I'm excited, I guess. Yeah, you know, I was like, yeah, sure, it's, it's going to happen. I don't know. I've never experienced it. I don't know what I'm going to experience. So that's why I went to a man who has seen eight total solar eclipses. His name's David Barron, and he's what you call a total eclipse chaser. He's seen them all over the world. So I, I posed him the question, just make me care about this. For David Barron, a total solar eclipse changed his life. It was the most awe-inspiring thing I've ever seen. It was like I had been transported to another planet, like I was suddenly in some sci-fi film looking at a sky I'd never seen. He witnessed his first all the way back in 1998. I decided I wanted to keep seeing them. And in that time, he made it his mission to see as many as he possibly could. And since then, he's traveled the world to see over eight total solar eclipses. He gave a TED Talk on his adventures, even writing a novel called The American Eclipse. So being an eclipse newbie, there was no one better to get me hyped up for April 8th than David. I, I feel like everyone that I've talked to who has semi-knowledge of this is like, okay, so, you know, the sun's going to be blocked out for a little bit, and, you know, it's a, whatever, I'm, you're impartial a little bit. Make me care about the total solar eclipse. <laughs> A total solar eclipse is the closest thing to space travel that you can experience without leaving the surface of the Earth. Because during a typical day, the blue sky is basically blocking your view of the heavens. The stars are up there, the planets are up there, but you can't see them because there's this curtain in the way. During a total solar eclipse, the blue sky gets stripped away and you can look with the naked eye toward the center of the solar system and see the sun and the planets together and some stars in the background. It's, it, it's like you've left our solar system and are looking back at where we live. And until you see it, you have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm ready for my life to be changed, I'll tell you what, David. I'm ready for my life to be changed. Uh, I'm ready to rock and roll. Thank you so much for David for coming on there. And, and yeah, so, you know, maybe it's something I just have to see to believe. I, like I said, I, I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be really cool. I just don't know what I'm going to be able to see. So uh, it's taking place a, uh, April 8th from 313 to 317. Potentially the best four minutes of your life. Dave, what do you think? Well, I think this is a story that's developing, and in about 20 or 30 years, you're going to go on a show and be interviewed by some <laughs> young, amazing reporter yeah. like you. Whippersnapper. Yeah. You can say what you and, want. And you're going to say, say it word. changed my life. <laughs> Austin Love here, it changed Absolutely. my life. <laughs> yeah. Buckle right. up, buddy boy. Buckle up. <laughs> Austin, thank you. <laughs> All right, Matt. You know, I was just thinking watching that, what a bummer it would be to be behind Austin during the eclipse because his hair would yeah. rock out the whole thing. Well, you know, the other day I was in the newsroom and I was looking into the light and Austin's hair was in the way and it kind of looked like an eclipse because <laughs> half the light was gone. Um, it, was a, it was an experience all in itself, I'll tell you. <laughs> yes. uh,